What's up guys, welcome to the channel. So I got another really cool product for you guys. This is the Joel Smart Mug. So any guys that enjoy a hot cup of coffee, maybe hot tea, any hot beverage, this might be a good pickup for you. Now I wasn't really sure what a Smart Mug was until I got this product sent out to me. And I've been using this for the last, I don't know, two months. It's been a while and I gotta say I'm kinda hooked. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. All right guys, so just a quick rundown of what a smart mug is. It's obviously a mug, but this has a built-in rechargeable battery and heating elements with an adjustable temperature on the front here that's gonna allow you to keep your beverage warm for up to two hours. All right guys, so let's take a closer look at this mug. As you guys can see, it does come with a lid and it is sealable. We'll go ahead and do a spill test here in a little bit. It does just pop off, it doesn't twist off. And then inside, this is a stainless steel mug liner with a 14 ounce beverage capacity. We'll also test the beverage capacity for you. You can set the temperatures between 120 to 160 with the smartphone app, or you can use the buttons that are right on the front of this mug, which is pretty cool. And it does have an LED display. Really easy to read, nice and bright. This is where you're gonna change your temperatures and get some information out of the mug. It does have a shut off after three hours when no liquid is detected, so it's like a safety shut off thing. And then it is IPX7 water resistant, so you can hand wash this. Definitely don't put this in a dishwasher or anything like that. So on the bottom there, you do have a power button and that's what's gonna turn the mug on and off manually. Nice little rubber base so it doesn't slip on a surface. Right on the back here is the logo and that is about it for the mug. So here's a look at the lid that it comes with. It does have a flip up top that locks into place and then right in the middle there is a spot that you can put your straw. It does come with a straw. This feels like a glass straw. Here's a look at the charging base. I like how it has this indent in it so that the mug does not slip out. It does accept a USB-C cable and it does come with the cable and charging block. And then of course it does come with the instruction manual. Nice, easy to read. All right, so there are a couple different ways you can use this mug. First, like I said earlier, it does have the functions right on the front there, so it gives you your battery, and then you can also change your temperature. You can turn it up or turn it down. And then you can also turn the heat on or off with the middle button. So if you get it to a temperature that you're happy with, you wanna keep it right around there, you can just turn it off. Or it'll maintain the heat depending on what you want. This does go up to 149 when it's not on the charger. When it's on the charger, it reaches a temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you do use this in an area where you're gonna have the charging pad set up, say on your desk or on your workshop, something like that, you can set this down right on the charging pad with your coffee or say your tea in there. It will charge. And then also, if you want this to be a little bit hotter, that's where you're gonna get the 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, only 149 though, when it's off the charger. So this screen has two displays on it. One is your set temperature, so 149 right there. And then it's also going to show you what the actual mug is at. So right now there's nothing in there but it says it's at 66 degrees. Now for those of you that are a little bit more tech savvy, it does have an app, and on the app it's gonna show your battery percentage here, and then your current temp, like I said, 66 degrees. You can put a timer, you can mess with the temperature up or down. You also can put in some presets, so pretty cool. They have some stuff that's already set in there, so warm, 120 degrees. We got hot at 135 and then very hot at 145, and then there's a couple customs down there if you want to set your custom. So, pretty cool that it does have an app. Not sure how many people are gonna use the app when you can just go right on the front here, but if you wanted to set up some presets, you would have to use the app. All right guys, so I wanna do a quick capacity test to see if this is truly 14 ounces. I got a measuring cup here, 
This measuring cup goes up to eight ounces. So we're gonna do eight ounces of water and then we'll do another six ounces and we'll see where this is at. So there is the eight ounces there. And then we'll fill this back up to only six ounces. That should give us the 14 if my math is right. All right, so there is six ounces there. And let's pour this in there and let's see where we're at. So this is, so it takes the 14 ounces, but I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get a closer look here. So there is a close up of the mug. And as you guys can see, that water is right at the top. So if you wanted to go ahead and put this lid on, it's not gonna be good news. So as you can see some leaked out there, maybe an ounce, I'm not sure. So this is gonna be filled up all the way to the top for the 14 ounces. So yeah, you can get 14 ounces in there, but you're gonna be spilling it. All right guys, so next up I wanna do a spill test. So I took some of the water out just so I can put this lid on here. And go ahead and show you guys, this lid is locked into place and the straw portion seal is pushed down. So we'll go ahead and set this up in here. And this is just a push lid, but it does have a nice tight fit. So we'll kind of do a little tip over here. And I'm being pretty nice, but it seems like, now here is the area where the hole is, so let's tip it over that way. Oh, it looks like we got a couple drips there. I don't know if you guys could see that, but, and this is pushed down all the way. So not bad, definitely not 100% spill proof. Getting a couple drops there. But, looks like you're gonna get that issue more so if it's towards this mouth area where you actually pop this lid. You're gonna get some leakage there, but around the other ends, you're not gonna get any leak leakage. So it depends on which way it drops, but not too bad, not 100% spill proof, but uh, not too bad. You go to tip this over, you know, you're not gonna have too much of an issue. You might have a few drops, but better than the whole thing spilling and just for size comparison I do have a couple other mugs up here these are just your standard this is your standard coffee mug here and then this is an arctic stainless steel mug but as you guys can see this is a little bit taller and this is a little bit taller because this also has a false bottom in here and this is where your battery is going to be so this does have a 2900 milliamp hour battery that's stored on the bottom here along with the heating element and this is gonna last you about 120 minutes on a one full charge. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do a test here. I got some warm, hot water actually. Just got it out of my coffee maker. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the Joel. Turn it up to 149 and we're gonna pour water in each one of these. We'll fill them up. You guys can see the water, you might be able to see it as Got a little steam coming off of there. And we're gonna see how well the Smart Mug performs compared to these other two standard mugs. Got my little thermometer here with a couple probes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Smart Mug on. So you guys see the red light there. And it's currently saying that this mug is at 157, so that's what the temperature is at 156 now and i'm gonna go stick this in there and see how close it is so it's saying it so my thermometer's saying 158 so pretty close this is saying 156 so a couple degrees off the arctic in the middle here Let's see what this is at. This is at 165 right now. And the standard coffee mug 
is at 145, 144. So this, the water was poured in all at the same time. We're gonna let this go for about five minutes and we'll come back and we'll check the temperatures. All right guys, so another seven minutes went by. We'll go ahead and test this out. Smart mug says it's at 147. And currently we are at 144. So it looks like maybe 144. And we'll go to the Arctic here. And the Arctic is not keeping up. We're at 129 with the Arctic. And then your standard coffee mug. Yeah, we're about 120. So as you guys can see, the smart mug definitely is keeping the water in the 144-ish range, even though it says it's at 148. So right now, 142 it says, but still doing better than the Arctic. At 129. And like I said earlier, if you guys use the charging pad with this, you'll be able to step up the temperature to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and it'll even keep everything warmer, plus it'll keep everything charged. All right guys, so this is how I use my smart mug. I go ahead and I leave my charging pad out here on the workbench plugged in. I'll take the mug inside. Usually it's fully charged because it's always on this charging pad. In the morning, I go ahead and put coffee in it, come out to the shop, and then I just always set it back on the charging pad. Keeps everything nice and warm. I never have to worry about my coffee getting cold. Works out great in the shop. I also can see this being really convenient if you have a desk job and you like sipping on coffee all day. Never have to worry about your coffee or your beverage getting cold. So if you guys are interested in the smart mug, I got some links below. Go ahead and check out those links. If you guys got any comments or questions, put them down below. I do my best to answer them. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, smash that like button. If you like what I'm doing on my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Until the next one, guys, I'll talk to you later.